George has not come around to me. George hates me almost as much as Bob Geldof, but not as much as Paul McCartney, and not nearly as much as Janet Straight Paul. Why does Paul McCartney hate you? you never... I don't I have no idea why these people hate me. I think I'm lovable and cuddly, but they think I'm nauseating. How do you feel about that? Because you went, you went, did write some very acerbic articles, very, very brilliant articles, but some of them very acerbic, and were never afraid uh, to, to call a spade a spade or a bad record a bad record. When you, you know, uh, most people, though, when you meet them, do they say, oh, how I nice to meet you, I, I read it, and it doesn't matter? The good, I think that the good people do. Uh, people who have got very thin skin really do take offence at that, and there are some I've mortally offended. David Bowie, when he was a young lad, used to come around to my, my flat then in Baker Street and sit on the floor and play me his songs, and I used to say, that would be better if you went to a G there, David. Right. And I used to go out and watch him doing mining shows with Lindsay Kemp in Golders Green, which are the most boring things you've ever seen in your life. Everybody did. You know, all the bit when you're pretending yeah. the glass panel yeah. that isn't there. I mean, can you live without that? And I used to do all this because he was a nice kid, and I used to encourage him. And in fact, I was the first person ever to write an article saying, this kid's going to be very big. And he got big. And then I did something. I think it was during the Live Aid Band-Aid thing when I criticised the video of him and Mick dancing mm. around. And I was fairly rude about both of them. And it's interesting because Mick, who I've known for years, took it all in good part. We mm. still see each other and we'll laugh and all the rest of it. David, I think, was really offended by that and actually will not speak to me under any circumstances. And in fact, I went to do, I was doing an interview for Entertainment USA with him and he walked into the interview and I hadn't seen him for a few years. And I stood up and said, hi, David, how are you? And he said, you are a fat shit and walked out. <laughs>